Hi everyone, I decided to do the slime craft for today because you guys are requesting it. Um, so you, um, I thought that you guys would be able to make it um, just for fun, but I will definitely make it for you and demonstrate how it's done. So some of you actually got this kind of bag and some of you got like the bottle of blue, but even the bottle had a little bit of gray paint inside so that um, we didn't have to use another container for it. Okay. So for this much glue, you first want to mix it up, right? Try as best as you can to mix up the paint and the glue. I'm not sure how well it would mix. I did try it before I gave it to you, but um, didn't completely mix. To be honest, it works better in your hand. So if you have this or whether you have um, the bottle glue, um, get a bowl like this and empty out the contents into a bowl or a bottle. The problem with mine is that my paint is all the way in the bottom, so it's not really coming out, so it's okay. It's not going to be super gray, but it's still going to be fun because you guys love slime. Okay. Um, but I did tell, but um, the important thing is if you want the color to mix in, you have to put it with the glue. Don't try to add the color later, then it might not work. It might not mix as well. So it's better to mix the paint, try to get as much paint as possible with the glue first, because it just mixes better. Okay, and then so I got some paint in here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the baking soda. Um, this is a little bit more than what is needed. You need about a tablespoon for this much glue. Um, so if you have a tape uh, if you have a measuring spoons or cups, you can use that. But I'm just gonna kind of guess and uh, I'm, I'm just gonna put it all in there for now and mix it up. Oh, it feels really good. Um, the contact solution is what you have to be careful with because you know what? I might mix some of the pebble in too. This feels really fun actually. Um, because it's going to be harder to mix it in later once you get the co contact solution and it gets starchy. So saline solution, this is very safe because it's something that goes in your eye. Um, so this is why I use this recipe instead of the other ones. So this is, I gave you more than you need. You need a tablespoon of this too, but it's more than a tablespoon. But even the tablespoon I think could be a, little, a lot. So only put a drop at a time and mix, okay? Because once you get too much contact solution in there, it's gonna become very, it's gonna start falling apart. It's not gonna be, see how it's like very gooey right now? But the contact solution gives it that firmness, but if you put too much, then it's gonna become very uh, stiff and it's gonna kind of like fall apart rather than slimy. I actually really like this, but it's not going you're not gonna be able to play with this. So I'm gonna put a little bit more contact solution, a drop at a time. And yeah, if oh see now it's starting to starch up. See? Now it's starting to become uh, less gooey and it's starting to become like a make its own form. Um yeah, definitely there's a lot more than we need. So this is a good consistency, but it's still a little too sticky to play with. So I'm gonna put a little bit more. I actually think I could have used a little more baking soda. Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, look at that. It's, it's getting very starchy right now. So see that? So it, it's really up to you how you like it. Um, I like how this feels, but it's gonna be messy once you take it out of the bowl. So I think my suggestion for this, but it's very starchy, so my suggestion would be, maybe you might have a little more baking soda. If it's like really sticky, you might wanna put a little more baking soda. Um, but that was all that was in there. So maybe we gave you a little too little. That didn't really look like a tablespoon, but it's still okay. It's still, if you put the contact, in there, see, that's what makes it very 
gooey. Um, it gives it that texture, like that starchy texture so that you could play with it. Oh, look at that. This turned out really perfect. Um, and then you can add the more pebbles. Oops. You can add more pebbles in there to um, make it more, have more texture. Oh yeah, look at that now. Oh, this is perfect. It turned out actually really perfect. The first time I tried it at home, it really didn't turn out good because it was, I put too much contact solution. So really be careful with that. Um, and it became very um, not gooey, like it started to fall apart. But this one, really good. And it's like popping, which I love. Look at that. So this is the slime. And once you have that, you can try to use that, um, the stem card that we made today. Or I also have, um, this is actually maybe in your goodie bag, but I have, you know, there's little trucks that you're not supposed to open yet, but later you can play with uh, construction trucks that's in your bag, or maybe you have some at home and you could just play with it like a construction um, concrete slime. So it's bumpy, it's textury, and it's gooey. So this is the slime that you have been waiting for. Okay, so definitely if you have more paint, it'll give you more color. Um, the, if you have food coloring, that colors it well, but that has to go in early, like before you mix in anything else. The, the coloring has to go in first when there's just glue, okay? So that's an important thing to remember, okay? I'll see you guys.